Hello students, we are learning English grammar and the topic for today is word formation. Under this topic, we will study three subtopics, primary words, how to use prefixes and suffixes and compound words. Primary words, words which function as different parts of speech without undergoing any change of form are called as primary words. For example, please change your uniform here change is a verb a verb is a part of speech a great change came over her after school here the verb change is a noun which is also a part of speech so as we can see change has acted as a verb in the first sentence and as a noun in the second sentence without changing its form so change is a primary word some words function as different parts of speech when they change their forms. So as we have seen, primary words do not change their form, but there are some words that change their form to act as different parts of speech. For example, she speaks well. Here speaks is a verb. The speech was excellent. Here speech is a noun. But as we can see, the form of the words have changed. In the first one, it is speaks. In the second one, it is speech. But still, the root verb is the same. Let us see prefix and suffix. Words in the root form combine with prefixes or suffixes to form nouns, adjectives and adverbs. Let us see. Example, calculate. Calculate is a verb. But calculation is a noun. Here note the prefix T-I-O-N. Hazard is a noun. But hazardous is an adjective. Note the suffix O-U-S. So by adding either prefix or suffix, the parts of speech can be changed from noun to adjectives to adverbs. Let us see some more examples. These are the prefixes. Whenever we add prefixes to some words, we find new words with a different meaning. This plus appointment gives us disappointment. N plus courage gives us encourage. Im plus polite gives us impolite. Un plus cover gives us uncover. In plus efficient gives us inefficient and miss plus match gives us mismatch. Now let us see some suffixes. Create is the root form of the verb. When we add the suffix I, V, E, create becomes an adjective. When we add I, O, N as a suffix, it becomes a noun. When we add L, Y, it becomes an adverb. In the same way, sympathy is the root form of the word. When we add the suffix ise, it becomes a verb. When we add ic, sympathetic becomes an adjective. When we add a double l y, sympathetically becomes an adverb. In the same way, act is the root form of the word. When we add the suffix i v e, Active, it becomes an adjective. When we add the suffix I O N, action becomes a noun. When we add the suffix L Y, actively becomes an adverb. In the same way, admire is the root form of the verb. When we add the suffix able, admirable becomes an adjective. When we add the suffix T I O N, admiration becomes a noun when we add the suffix a b l y admirably it becomes an adverb so in this way words in the root form combine with prefixes or suffixes to form nouns adjectives and adverbs now let us see compound words Compound words are formed when two words are joined together to form a new word with a new meaning. 
Let us see some examples. Here fire plus fly. Firefly is a compound verb. Here fire is a noun and fly is a verb. Life plus noun. Life plus line. Here life is a noun as well as line is also a noun. These two nouns have formed a new compound word. Air is a noun. Port is a noun as well. Both the nouns have combined to form a compound word called airport. The meaning of airport is completely different from air and port. Grand is an adjective. Parents is a noun. Grandparents is a compound word. Under is a preposition and growth is a noun. Undergrowth is a compound word. Needlework is a compound word outburst is a compound word as well outburst means sudden release of emotions or anger lighthouse is also a compound word threadbare threadbare means if the cloth has become very thin due to regular use that is called as threadbare threadbare is also a compound word made from two different words thread and bear then we have spend thrift spend thrift means a person who spends money carelessly spend thrift is also made from two words spend and thrift and together it is a compound word underdog is also made up of two words under and dog Underdog means a person who is an underachiever. Undergrowth is also a compound word. Undergrowth means growth of bushes or grass under the trees. It is a compound word as well. Scatter brain. Scatter brain is also a compound word made from two words scatter and brain. Scatter brain means somebody who is disorganized or somebody who misplaces things frequently. That's all. See you again in the next video.